Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making fish sauce. Fish sauce is one sauce that I love so much and each time I make this, it takes me way back to my childhood. We kind of make this like every Saturday or thereabouts, and whenever we make it, every one of us in the house is always excited about this. So I've got my red bell pepper here and I'm just going to shred that inside my food processor and as you can see I'm using my food processor today I am not using the blender because I want it to be coarsely blended I don't want it to be fully finely blended I'll be using two habanero peppers two about like two inches of ginger roots and four cloves of garlic I'll also be using four tomatoes but you know, I have a small food processor here so I'll just blend this first all right look at this this is exactly what we want just go ahead and throw that inside my bowl I'll just go ahead and process the other tomatoes and bell pepper I'll also be using one bulb of onion. Okay. I think this is good. I'll just go ahead and also pour this inside my bowl. It's now time to put all this together. Now, I'm going to start by adding my oil inside my pan. I'm using olive oil, but you can actually use any good cooking oil you like. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to be adding my onions. Now, this is not the onions I blended. This is the one I sliced with my hands. As you can see, this uses a whole lot of onions. You know, this is where the flavor comes from. Now, I want these onions to be slightly caramelized. You don't want it to be totally browned or burnt, but you know, just a little caramelization and will be good. As you can see, my onions are well caramelized. Now, I'm going to be adding my blended peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this until it's reduced. And this is going to take about 20 minutes or you know, a little more or less. Here I've got my mackerel fish. It's already grilled. I actually did this myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and debone it. Now you can use any other fish you like, but my advice is just to try as much as possible to use, you know, fish that are not too bony. You know, that works a lot for this. Just go ahead, remove the bones and shred everything you can shred as finely as you want or as big as you want so here we go my fish is all shredded so right now i'll just set this aside and i'll go ahead and check my stew hmm. here we go guys this is looking so good as you can see it's getting dried look at that all the fresh pepper taste has fizzled out and that is exactly what we want so now I'm going to be seasoning this with some curry powder and thyme and I'll be adding some salt to taste together with some seasoning powder. And this is a good time to adjust the seasoning if there's a need to. Here goes my shredded fish. My sauce is a little bit thick, so I'll be adding a little bit of chicken stock just to loosen it up a little bit. I'm going to be leaving this again to simmer for about three to five minutes so that you know all those spices can be well incorporated into the sauce. Here we go, guys. This is all done. Okay, so before we leave, I'm going to be adding some green and orange bell peppers just for you know a little extra color 
and I'm adding my favorite herbs, which is parsley. A lot of you know I like my parsley. So here we go, guys. It's all done. So growing up, we used to serve this with freshly boiled yams. But right now, I live in a place where I don't have access to these yams every time. So I like to serve this with my boiled potatoes. And sometimes I serve it with rice, couscous, name it. It goes with you know, virtually any good food, you know. So that's it again for today. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. And as usual, all the details you need to today's recipe can be found in the description box below. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.